Good morning, everybody. So one of the messages that's coming through pretty loud and clear this morning is how we feel about ourselves. And, you know, there was a saying when I was a kid, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me, blah, 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 blah. I, as a child, would say, hmm, sticks and stones may break my bones, but those are going to mend. Words can devastate me. And they can. People's opinions and judgments. And then when you start feeling that, you interpret everyone's looks or something, a partial of what they're saying, as it's a dig on you. And it's hurtful, right? So there's this ever-mounting, um, rotating circle of, I'm not good looking, or I'm not good enough, or this or that, or this or that. And it's just like this runaway train that just haunts you and haunts you and haunts you until you stop, drop, sit, connect with your breath and get some assistance with it. So I remember like when my youngest was little, you know, she was just a tiny little thing. And her dad was tall and thin. And I was uh, average sight, sight, height. There goes my, my word dictionary again. Um, an average height and then on the athletic thinner side and so she really took more after her dad and so she had just very thin legs and so on and boy did she get teased towards the end of elementary school and into junior high especially by the other girls you're so skinny look at their skinny little legs and it used to really bother her as a matter of fact um, a few people called her Schmeagle. Out of Lord of the Rings. How painful is that? And, you know, as a mom, you want to say, oh, you know, the girls are jealous. Oh, you know, blah, 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 blah. But none of that matters because it's been said. It doesn't matter why they're saying it. Children don't have this, you know, they can't differentiate between a psychological reason why someone might be saying because they're downright freaking mean they take it seriously into heart and it's it's painful it's very very painful so in these messages this morning about you know that and i mean we all have them we all can look in the mirror and have this dysmorphic feeling about ourselves because we see one thing and then it can take our feelings and plummet them and or it can change them and uplift them it just depends on what's happening what you have on and so on and so forth so the spirits were showing me a little exercise this morning and the exercise was to just be still in the moment and just to go within the body and give great thanks to every single organ, every single droplet of blood and tissue in the body. And then seeing that radiating with this divine crystalline light. And then that illuminates all around the body. And then just to really feel this beautiful physical avatar working as this high functioning, optimal, amazing, divine soul, self. And then to get out of bed and be a little more gentle with your feet on the floor, go into the bathroom and turn the water on and gently splash your face, giving great thanks and asking for the energies of the water, the divine original blueprint source of the water to cleanse your skin and to blend in with the, the watery tissue, the fluids of the body. And then to pat your face a little more gently. And as you awaken the body, then you look in the mirror, you say, I feel really 
good today. Thank you for this opportunity to start my day feeling really good about myself and all the tangible things around me, including other humans. And then for the rest of the day, tap into that feeling all day long. And if it means you've got this dysmorphic stuff, maybe you shouldn't look at yourself in the mirror so often, if that's gonna plummet you until you can detach and be stronger. Work on radiating that divine light from your eyes radiating that divine light from your ears so that you're hearing things on a divine, angelic, galactic octave. Maybe moving your lips a little less, except for to smile and illuminate and emanate this divine love from within you. And then everything that you touch, you touch with gentle, illuminating love. And just keep trying this until maybe you feel like eh, 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 got out of gear and then see how that feels. And then say, mm-mm, coming back up to this, this gear right here. I'm gonna stay on this gear. And then day by day, with your practicing, you develop how to skill it, and then you learn how to kind of master not getting in the muck of what everybody else might think of you because it's what you thinketh and what you feeleth that matters. Pretty soon people are gonna ask well, what you ate for breakfast. So connect with that divine self upon awakening. Just take a few minutes to just give great thanks for every organ, every rhythm. Every, there's a whole orchestra and symphony in here, guys. And this physical avatar is what is carrying around your spiritual work, your spiritual soul self. It's all housed in here. And it can't do its job if you're worried about, and eh, I don't look very good. People said this about me. I'm so effed up because I get it. We have to clear that pattern, erase that board, say, you know what? It's how I feel. That's what matters. It's how I feel about myself on all levels, mentally, physically, energetically. Spiritually, etherically, it's all energy. It's all energy, understood and ununderstood. They weren't there. Not so understood. So you can either understand or ununderstand. And sometimes we just have to detach from all the stuff that we've been, we've allowed to indel inside of ourselves because it's everybody else's. Uh, barometer being graded. Talked about that yesterday in, in the video. You're going to let these bots grade you and determine where you fall into sync? No. No. No, 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 my friends. Stop, drop, sit, connect with that breath. Take control of yourself. Give the, tune into that divine love from within this physical avatar where your spirit is housed and illuminate that and literally take that illumination and dissolve all things that do not belong to you, including all the opinions and judgments from everyone else. Do you be you. The independence is freaking amazing. It doesn't matter how old you are, just get there. Trust me, I was a late bloomer. All right. Please hit like, subscribe, and share. Leave me a comment. Let me know if I can be of assistance. My website's always in the description. Much love, everybody.